Hi, uh, I'm Dina from Bait.com. Over the past 10 years, we've seen that the amount of women joining the workforce and the treatment that they've been getting has changed and improved a lot. There are still a few concerns that women do not discuss freely in the workspace. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of these concerns that we advise uh, to be discussed more freely. So to begin with, uh, we'll start with the bottom line, which is basically salary. Um, even though we've seen that we're moving towards equality, uh, companies still need to be transparent in terms of the salaries given. And as a female professional, women should be able to understand the differences in salaries so that they ensure that these salaries are based on qualifications rather than gender differences. Another concern related to pay structure is uh, bonus and benefits. So uh, we still see that there are differences in terms of these schemes. For example, um, we have females working on their husband's visa. Uh, sometimes they don't get the same benefits uh, that the husband would get, such as allowances or housing. These sort of concerns need to be discussed with HR, uh, just so that we ensure that female professionals get equal opportunities. Some women still feel that um, they are less likely to be promoted, especially if they're working in a male-dominated environment. So if you feel that you have the right qualifications and the skills to perform in a certain role, then by all means, uh, pursue these goals and ask for your right for that position. Two other concerns that are uh, specifically related to female professionals are maternity leave and childcare. For maternity leave, many women fear that they might lose their jobs if they ask for prolonged vacations. So step one is to actually understand and know what the labor law dictates in terms of these leaves. Once that is known, then it is their right to actually ask for what is owed to them by law. Working mothers need to balance between their working life and their family life. They might need to attend uh, certain events such as family events or important school events. These sort of things need to be discussed openly with HR uh, just so that both parties are comfortable and they need to be done within a process. So the main point of this whole topic is that as female professionals there are things that we are still concerned about but as uh, we're moving towards equality um, it is our right to discuss these things more openly. Of course all of uh, this topic is uh, supported by a survey conducted by Bait.com.